All right, so we're watching these birds. I will try to zoom in on them here in a second, but just getting some truck time right now. It's the first day, and I may make a move yet here if they really decide to commit to what they're doing. Right now, they're just kind of milling around. If they get halfway across, and I think that they're not going to, I'm going to go in here and dust one. But right now, they're about halfway, a well, third of the way, and I could really easily sneak it to where these birds want to go. So I might do that, but I'll zoom in on them as best I can here. There's a big old Thomas there. And I can literally, if they're going to go to those pines, which is what they're looking like they're going to do, but I need them to actually commit to it, I can make a move on these birds really easy. Really, really easy. So we'll see what happens here. It's about 713 yeah, we don't have a ton of time, so they got to be going to roost pretty quick. All right, these birds are right over this hill. Just going to make a little play on them here. Spotted them and shells. Got all the cameras I need. I'm just going to make a little run with my little silhouette decoy right over the top and see if we can make something happen here. You don't think he ran up in this grass right at him? Look at him, buddy. The one in the back, he's still down there. He spooked a little bit, but... Well, I think he could see me leaning out to get footage. What are you going to do? Sure. I mean, he was still only five yards. I mean, it's five seconds of footage, but what are you going to do? I should, I mean, it's 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can't, I mean, they come that quick, there's nothing you can do. What are you going to do? Did you get the kill on you? Think? Or, whatever. You know what's great? Yes, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, man, he's on my left shoulder. Because I'm not going to jump in front of him. Oh, the move I did a couple years ago. <laughs> Tell you what I've been home for all of an hour now and I've been Dustin had to get finished up some work some of us have to work I was off ready to go hunting and I was complaining I'm like let's go let's go he's like ah we got time and we pulled up just started driving around as we do when we get to reaping these birds and came around on Old Faithful West Hill Road and uh, and came upon these birds we saw them off the road and uh, it just so happens that I've hunted this farm a few times, a time or two, <laughs> meaning I grew up here hunting, and uh, I knew about what they were going to do. I knew we had a good chance. We just pulled past them, grabbed the reaper, Dustin grabbed the camera, 
um, got the action cam and started making our move over this hill. And what's different about this reap is that it's kind of in this low, thick buckthorn, not in a wide open field. So we were kind of just making our way. We got to here and Dustin says, I get a little further left, go straight and then start heading left. Uh, as we're making our way through, I caught the cue ball coming through the underbrush up here. And I said, sit down, here we go. And I didn't know it was gonna happen like that with reaping these birds. And we had two guys, Dustin and myself behind this decoy. I mean, and you can see the wings are splayed out. It gave us enough cover. And he came charging right in, didn't have a clue at first. And then I think he kind of caught, hey, something might be going on. But um, I was able to come up, settle in and make the shot. It's just, if people don't understand how efficient this is, I love sitting down and calling the birds as much as the next guy. But when you're limited on time and you need to make something happen, um, as far as making a move on birds, it's the most efficient way. When Dustin and I started doing this three or four years ago, uh, we started off, we learned a little bit about how to do it and what things to do and what not to do. When we started, I don't think him or I realized how effective this could be. And uh, some people call it fanning. I call it reaping. If you're going to go right at them, be aggressive. Fanning is kind of sitting back and letting the tail fan bring the birds in. We go to these birds with this, and uh, the mojo scoot and shoot laid another one out. I just was telling Dustin we're going to have to stop taking pictures of these birds dead because people are starting to figure out what we're doing and now you're seeing it in this area more and more. Everyone's posting video footage and camera footage, pictures of what they're doing, but I don't know, I'm happy. Um, bird's not going to win any crazy awards or anything, but every time's a trophy, especially when you drive a couple hours to come up and hunt back where you grew up hunting. And Thanks Dustin for coming along, appreciate it. Let's get this bird out of here and on to the next one. Dustin's got a tag and a gun in the truck. We'll just drive around until we find another one and do that again. I guess I gotta run that stupid camera again. I'm always getting caught behind that sucker. Thanks again, and let's get the heck out of here, huh?